Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Random Pets Laboratory Challenge! Where we are going to be mixing and matching some various animal genes to see what kind of creations we can roll out of our petri dishes today. And we are actually back in the lab working with some of the uh, real life creatures that we could find, sharing our amazing natural world with us, and stepping away from our more pixelated adventures with Pokemon. However, keep those suggestions of Pokemon and mythical creatures and who knows what else coming, because our random laboratory can hold uh, quite a few wonders. But today we are going to be stepping back in to the wonders of our jungle adventures in Planet Zoo and visiting the Laughing Court in order to invite Rose, the spotted hyena, to come into the laboratory to be weighed, measured, you know, just checking in on her health, seeing um, potentially what kind of interesting genes she might have to put into our petri dishes, and reminding us of how amazing hyena are! Okay, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Before I started watching Wild Earth, aka uh, the Safari Live that I have been talking about nonstop for months now, I am so glad I've been watching them for over a year now and I love them. They're my favorite live stream thing to do. Most of the morning I spend editing videos while listening to all sorts of amazing discoveries they make with the lions of the Masai Mara and oh, it's just delightful. But until I started watching those live streams more often, I didn't know a lot about hyena, and I thought that they had all of that negative, really nasty, mean, scavenging sort of persona that most people know them by. But actually, hyena are extremely intelligent, very social, they have elaborate and amazing social structures that are led by a matriarch, a lead female, whose children inherit her role like freaking royalty. It's amazing. They live in termite mounds, like they really love termite mounds to transform into their burrows to keep their little hyena babies safe. They have extremely complex and amazing lives, and I cannot wait to share more hyena facts with you guys over in our Planet Zoo adventures as well. But I was thinking of hyena today, so we invited Rose on in, uh, and I hope that as we learn more about hyena, maybe I can change some of your guys' minds about the negative aspects you may have heard about hyena and teach you some fun facts. And today, that fun fact is going to revolve around the idea of hyenas in termite mounds. So there are huge termite mounds all over Africa where termites will build these gigantic structures like 10, 15 feet tall, uh, not straight up either, but like a proper mound, like kind of a, a termite bug built hill. And often the termites will either burrow really, really deep inside the mound or they'll just die off and you'll have this abandoned termite mound. And tons of different animals will use those termite mounds to make their dens and to go inside of, dig little tunnels into, so that they have somewhere to get out of the shade or out of the sun, into the shade. They have somewhere a little bit safer and more concealed to put their young and so they can hide away from predators. And hyena are actually one of the creatures that will make burrows and make dens out of the termite mounds. And Rose here has been scouting out her favorite termite mound, thinking about what kind of baby she might add into the den and who might be high enough in rank to impress her to have children with, uh, when a certain surprise has strolled up to her termite mound, eager to try out his very, um, over-eager digging and hunting instincts. And that surprise, friends, is today's randomly generated pick of what animal we should breed with hyena, the wire fox terrier, T-Rex! That's right, his name is T-Rex, which was another one of your guys' randomly generated names, which made me laugh so hard, because there's just something about this little guy. He's scrappy, he's a bit aggressive, he's quite adventurous, and he's definitely a, a hunter that just makes me think T-Rex is the perfect name for him. But this is a wire fox terrier, and he is actually uh, one of the pets of a adventuring novelist who has come to try to sit in the savannah wilderness in a nice cabin, carefully protected, that uh, he wants to spend time working on his latest book about. And while he's distracted, staring into space and pecking away slowly at his laptop, his wonderful terrier, T-Rex, is following his instincts to dig and to hunt. He has been sniffing around and he managed to find a way to dig out from under the fence that was supposed to keep him safe and dash off into the wilds. And what did he find? 
more things to dig in, like those amazing termite mounds. And terriers are extremely feisty and they really do love having something to pursue. And they are a breed that tends to like to dig quite a bit. So I thought that would be perfect for, you know, going ahead and having him bump into Rose's termite mound. And Rose, for her part, always loves a free snack. But there's something about T-Rex's aggressive attitude and his extremely fast digging paws that gives her a bit of a moment to pause, puns fully intended, and think about what she wants to do before she eats T-Rex. And after a few moments of barking and growling at each other, something else is sparked between them. After all, T-Rex he loves digging. Rose seems to be in the termite mound that he wants to investigate and rip apart. Uh, however, she's got these lovely spots and she's able to run circles around him using her speed and her strength as a female hyena. She is much bigger and tougher than any of the male hyenas would be after all. Uh, to kind of bat T-Rex around a little bit, give him a moment to pause and think, wait a second, maybe I've gotten myself into something a little bit outside of uh, my control, bitten off more than I can chew here. But after a while of chasing each other around, they come to a standoff, and T-Rex comes back the next day and continues his digging around the termite mound. And slowly but surely, after chasing each other around and around the termite mound, a bond is united between them. And Rose decides to go ahead and have a couple hyena cubs with T-Rex and put them inside of the mound. I don't think T-Rex is really gonna realize this until after they're born. So there is their little love story, my friends. I also am excited to see what's going to happen with all of our little terriers features put into a hyena. Um, I think that this could end up really interesting or it could potentially end up really cute. So let's go ahead and have these two feisty little pairs have uh, some crossbreeds. All right, let's pull up the first one. Oh, heckin', you're cute, but you're not the hyena cub that we're looking for. And I'm gonna start pulling up some of your guys' names. Oh, and the very first one is actually spirited. So welcome, welcome little spirited. Uh, fun fact, normally hyena cubs are born completely black. They have all black fur and as they age, that will fade away to reveal their spots and the other patterning that they actually have. And you can, spirited, you cannot produce wool, uh, but you can be a troublemaker who is hairy and independent. So our very first one. And again, another fun fact, normally in hyena uh, like births, you'll only have two babies. Uh, and hyena births are actually very dangerous for a female hyena, but we'll talk about why another day. Uh, it's often a cause of death, actually. Very difficult for them to give birth. And we're gonna have Rose go ahead and have her second one. Oh, that one looks so much like a hyena cub. Oh, that's so exciting, but we need to... Oh, that's so exciting. Look at this baby. Look at Rose and T-Rex's little baby with these spots and those eyes. Oh my gosh, you guys. Welcome to Huata. I love her. Okay, and this is a request for a female name from Crystal. So we're gonna name her Huata. Welcome, heck. You look like you could inherit your mother's position as being in charge of this little clan we're building. Because again, the females are the ones who are in charge of the entire hyena clan. And Huata, you are playful, friendly, and a couch potato, which is not really fitting with um, the quote unquote friendliness of the hyena or of the wired harrier or of the energy of either of them. But you know what? If you're the queen, I'm sure you can do whatever you want. And then next up, we're going to have this little one. Oh, look at him. This is actually going to be Abigail. So look at Abigail. Welcome, welcome to the family. You look very much like your dad. We'll have to see if you can't produce wool. We'll have to see if you grow up to be a big uh, like your mother or small like your father and whose instincts you inherit. You're also a couch potato. <laughs> How are we ending up with couch potato babies when we're throwing together such like aggressive and energetic genes? That's amazing. All right, a sleuth who is a couch potato and adventurous. Maybe you're able to kind of sense out where you can find food and you don't need to worry about being so aggressive to get even more. All right, let's pull up the next one. 
Remember guys, if you would like to become one of the crossbreed creations of the laboratory, all you need to do is leave your names and name suggestions down in the comment section below. Next little baby. Oh, hello! This is actually going to be Lawrence. So welcome to little Lawrence. You definitely look like you're going to be a unique looking baby when you grow up. You also cannot produce dairy, sir. However, you can be a hunter who is adventurous and a troublemaker. That's a little bit more like it. That's more like what I'm expecting from a hyena crossbreed. All right, next up we have got... Dun 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 dun. The next baby. And this is going to be... Oh, you're cute! This is going to be Zergrat! Zergrat! Welcome! Welcome to the family! You you look like you could be a good blend between the two parents, actually. You can't produce wool, though. However, you can be extremely stubborn. You can be a sleuth, and you can be loyal. So, alright, Zergrat, let's go ahead and uh, let's see what you turn out to be. Pretty excited about this. And then the very, very last one is going to be... Dunna. Dunna. Dunna na 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 na. Oh, that's cute, but not the one we're looking for. The little mixed breed. <gasps> Look at you! Scalandria! Oh my gosh, what a name! Scalandria. Scalandria! Welcome, welcome to our hyena clan. And you're also going to be a couch potato who's friendly. Why is it sometimes we take some of the most friendly animals and get super aggressive ones and sometimes we take some of the more aggressive territorial ones and get super friendly lazy ones? Ah, oh, it's the role of genetics. Who knows? But alright, Scalandria, welcome to the family and I uh, definitely do think that making more Minecraft mixes it will have to be, you know, a potentiality that we work with. But all right, guys, it is now time to go ahead and grow these little ones up and see what happens we can, when we combine the wonders of a spotted hyena with T-Rex. There we go, T-Rex. With T-Rex, the wire fox terrier, who, just to remind you guys, is normally only 16 to 18 pounds of coiled energy. Uh, and this little ear stuff up here, the little V-shaped ears that fold back, that's like a characteristic of the breed. So I'm wondering if all of his kids with the down ears actually inherited that. Let's go ahead and see. Spirited, you're up first. Oh, wow. You're a llama. <laughs> all right, guys. So first up, we have Spirited the Llama, who really has grown up to look like a llama. Or even a guanco, which is like the, the wild ancestor of the llama who is still around in their more ancestral form kind of like the wolves are still around for dogs as an ancestral form um welcome to the family spirited i don't know how you're gonna fit into the the termite mound but i'm sure you'll be able to work it out maybe you could go hang out with the the like antelope or the giraffes if that doesn't work <laughs> but all right let's go ahead and see what happens with huata as she grows up <gasps> huata She's so cute! She's gonna be a rapid digging. Look at her. Look at her. She's so cute. And she actually has the down ears as well. Even though she had. Oh, wait, no, no. The others have the up ears. That's right. But Huata! Oh, this is so cool. I think she's gonna be like a little digging machine of a hyena pup. That's beautifully adorable. All right, Huata, you're probably on my list for the championship rounds of our laboratory challenge. And then we have Abigail. Oh, oh. <gasps> Abigail! How did you turn out looking kind of like a dingo? Dang! That's really interesting. This is why I love this challenge, guys. You just never know what you're going to end up with. And really, today I honestly just let the random generator pick two animals from a gigantic list of animals just to see. Uh, and I, I would not have picked the wire terrier otherwise, but I'm enjoying the results. Let's go ahead and see what Lawrence is going to look like. Lawrence? You're kind of adorable. Like, I don't feel like I would feel completely trustworthy around Lawrence for some reason. There's something that makes me think he's a little bitey. But he's pretty adorable. Look at him. All right. And then we have Zirgrat. Oh, oh. <gasps> Zirgrat, look at you! You also turned out to be like a little dingo. Aw, we ended up with like an unexpected number of normalish dogs, unless you're counting, you know, like spirited in Huata. But let's go ahead and grow up. Scalindria. 
the last of the pups who no doubt has to go ahead and compete against her sister, Huata, for dominance of the clan in the future. Skalindria, you might win. You might win, especially because you tried to have a dragon tail. We're going to randomize that again. There you go. It, I, I'm pretty impressed. I love her ears. <laughs> All right, guys. Who would you pick if we were going to select one of these lovely pupper creations for the Random Pets Genetics Championship, where we will start crossbreeding the winners from different groups of our animals? Uh, do let me know who you think the best was. I think Spirited is actually pretty hilarious, to be honest. And I kind of love Huata, especially with her two colored eyes. Like, imagine crossbreeding her with another one of our creations. Oh my gosh. So keep those suggestions coming. If you guys would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye